Hi, welcome back to The Painted Mini. My name is Travis, and today I'm going to paint the four miniatures from Earthborn Rangers. All right, so I picked up the four pewter miniatures from Earthborn Rangers, and we're going to go ahead and look at some reference shots here. The very first one I'm going to paint is this one right here, and it's very muted color scheme. Uh, the mini itself looks just like the picture, which is kind of cool. So you can see here, I just did a Zenithal highlight. So these are metal miniatures. They're reclaimed pewter and I will see how they paint up. So first thing I'm going to do is I went ahead and took my color wheel and I usually go in for a split complementary and I wanted to capture this sort of beigey orange color. So I just picked out one uh, that points me to this red orange group and then this gray blue group. So I'm going to use that gray blue as highlights. I'm going to use the red as both skin tone and the darker and then the lighter shades will come into this main outfit. I'm very impressed with how accurate the mini captures the images. That's uncanny, the scale and everything. First thing I'm gonna do is get a palette ready. Let me show you what I got here. So I got my uh, red and yellow go-tos, my blue-green. I have my beige and my browns. Actually, that's my flesh tone. And then I have my earth tones here. And that should get us through this many. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to really look at, uh, I'm going to kind of match up the flesh tone here, I think. Um, so with flesh, I'm going to want to start with the darker and kind of highlight up from there. So I might have to mix something. I got ebony flesh and I'll just mix that with tan skin or maybe something with a little bit more red. This is model color red leather. Let's see what we come up with here. Step one. Put a little tone. Very dark brown, almost black. I'm also going to put down some tan skin and we'll figure it out from there. This is really just for the face. Everything else is gloves. All right, let me get a brush to mix with. I usually use like a conditioner, so I need to make sure I rinse that off good. And let's see here, I need a dark color first. First I'm gonna, I'm just gonna mix this color itself because it is all over the place. God, way too thick. That's kind of the medium tone I think I want for the skin color. All right. Let's bring some of this darker color in over here. That's my shadowy color. All right. And then on the lighter end, I'm going to take this light color and just mix it on this side. pretty strong. Let's see if I can do everything with a size 3. Which means I'm just going to be relying on a good point more than anything. Alright, let's see. Here's my mini. like the neck goes down to a shirt line. Always want to touch the top part. I'm losing a point. All right, that's all the dark color. Well, it's, I think I'm going to just kind of wet brush this in. Okay, so now, just trying to get a 
little bit in between going here. And I'm going to try. Here I'm hitting the sides really good, the cheeks, brows, everything but the eyes and underneath the chin. I'm just doing downward strokes that way it'll keep and keep the darker on the bottom. And now uh, it's still wet. I'm gonna get this lighter color. Try to pop a little highlight off of that lip. Definitely the cheekbone. Move off the forehead and that ridge line down the nose. By doing this wet, I'm just hoping for a little bit more of a blend effect. Get the chin just a touch. And I'm going to leave the neck underneath pretty dark. What's next? Let's do I need a big area. Let's get the underneath clothing. So it's very much a beige color. German or beige. It's not bad, because remember, I want to go with a darker color first and then lighten it up. Check out our darky beige. Ooh, it's kind of a greeny beige, but that's okay. I usually keep water that has a little bit more flow improver handy in a dropper, so it stays clean. Let's um, mix that in a little better. That's going to be your first color. This is one of the greatest tools ever. This is an airbrush cleaner, and it's great just for unclogging your paint. All right, I kind of mix this vampiric skin with that German beige. It kind of gave me a, it's hard to see, but it's kind of a cream color, slight green tint to it. Now I'm just going to I can see the xenothal is actually working, but I'm going to just go in with a little extra. I'm just trying to get the highest points here. Just maintaining my point. I'm going to mix another color for this kind of a brown, maybe with that green, so we get much pigment there. there. I want to go on and fix that. OK, 
Okay, that's its sleeve. It's giving him a bit of a brown trim here. I think the base color for this whole tabard is also brown. I might change that up a little bit. What I'm looking at now is this tabard here. It looks like it's kind of the same brown, but I'm going to have to mix it up a little bit. So going back to our color wheel, we have, there's the red, this red, just kind of the skin color. This is sort of the medium for the clothing, and then blue is the other. I'm going to do blue definitely around the outer edge. What do I do with the tabard? I guess I'm supposed to do it brown also. I'm just going to do the cape in the same color. So the cape and the tabard are sort of a red-brown, and I'm going to have the trim work of the clothing more of a flat brown. Okay, that is clearly a backpack strap. It goes underneath. And his cap is a little bit lighter. I'm going to make it gray. His skin tone. Okay, uh, let's go with the light, just pure light beige. This highlight color almost. Now there are some bands of other color in here. I can't from the art it looks like it's really just the ripples, but I'm gonna go ahead and try. It's gonna be way too light, I think.
Alright, let's get into that blue. Okay. Yeah, use that for the darker side of it. All right, this is going to go on the goggles. It's going to go on some of the gear. It's going to go on the top area of that cowl. Again, it's just a very slate blue. The uh, sculpting of the mini is just very like geometric on the pants, just facets like cutting a jewel. It's a strong goggle line. A uh, hardware on the goggles. That should be a leather strap. That's the end of the buckle. Alright, I'm going to take, this is a metal medium, I'm going to add a tiny bit of the blue to it, and I'm going to do the ear pieces, give them a little bit of a metallic sheen. Alright, I've added a little bit of a metallic medium to that slate blue, because it's coming out just very matte. And I'm going to try, give it a little bit of an edge. Like my
Telling 